Hey, Chris here. Welcome back to the Investing Boss channel. And in this video, we're going to look at the S&P 500 returns compared to investing in Dubai properties using the stake platform. Here on the laptop, we can see that Samuel Heaton, hi there, Sam, if you're watching, made a post on the Investing Boss Facebook group. The link will be down in the description if you're not joined up, by the way. And yeah, his comment was, when you compare the stock market to stake, you get 10% a year returns from the S&P 500. And with stake, you don't get that. He's saying that you just get 6% yield and a little appreciation. Now, it's not just Samuel that is wondering if the S&P 500 is just a better investment and that's all you need in your investment portfolio. Lots of people comment that same kind of thing. So that's why I thought this video would be a great idea. Do comment below if you have any other video ideas for the Investing Boss channel and I'll check those comments out to see if any are appropriate. Now, before I give you the numbers and show you the 2022 and 2023 returns for the S&P 500 and the stake property platform, we'll jump on the laptop here and I'll basically just show you stake for anyone that may have clicked this video and you're really not sure what stake is because I'm sure probably most of you will be aware what the S&P 500 is. And if you don't know, it's the top 500 largest companies in the US. And basically when you invest in the S&P 500, you own a very small piece of each of those companies. So like Apple, Google, Meta, Microsoft, Tesla, et cetera, et cetera. But here on the laptop, Stake is a property investment platform that's been going for a few years now. And it's a platform where you're able to just buy shares of a property with other investors. So you don't need for example, these uh, available properties here, there's currently four available, uh, all in Dubai here. Three of them are apartments, uh, yeah, one studio, and then two one-bed apartments. And then one is a two-bed townhouse there. And you can see the prices range from the lowest there of £221,000 and some change, uh, up to the townhouse being £626,000. And, you know, for a lot of people, we haven't got that kind of cash to just throw around and invest in a property, you know, even the cheapest one. Most of us haven't got £221,000 just sat doing nothing, but most of us have got, say, 100 or £200 that we can put onto stake and then invest and buy a share of that property and build it up slowly. Now, let me just scroll down to this least funded one at the moment because it is the newest one there. You can see it says new listing. Currently 19% funded, and it's a one-bed apartment in Dubai Marina. So we'll click on that. It says we've got annualized estimated return of 9.54% and a annual appreciation of 6% plus the rental income as well. That's why it's the total of 9.5%. That's not the sort of guaranteed number you're going to get from that. It's just a guidance on what stakes think could be achieved. Sometimes it can be slightly less in rare circumstances. I've only seen one property that's ever performed worse than they've predicted. But most of the time, actually, they're, they're performing better than what stake are saying they will do on here. But let's click it and take a look through the apartment. So when you select it, you get the photos here, then you get all the information, you get the current rental per month, and you can scroll down, check out what a uh, £10,000 investment would roughly be in five years' time. And, you know, you can uh, sort of move that around there and adjust it around so you could drop it all the way down to £100. Uh, really, really good sort of tools here that you can uh, use in order to just have a play with it. Then you can scroll further down, check out the financials and really get into all the numbers of it there, which I think is fantastic. And then at the bottom, you got funding timeline, so the expected closing date, 19th of February, is the latest day they expect this to be fully funded. Then they're going to sell the company which will own the property by the 11th of March. And then the expected first rental payment will be the 28th of March. Then after that, you'll get your rental income as long as the tenant is in there and renting it at the end of every month. But going back up to the photos here, we can click on, you can see the main photo is just showing you Dubai Marina. And uh, we can then go through the photos here, another photo of the marina, and another one there of all the lovely buildings. And yeah, we can see then in the uh, apartment here, this one is already rented out, so there's someone living in it currently. Uh, as you can probably tell from the uh, sort of furniture in there, someone's e-scooter there as well. 
Uh, nice e-scooter, by the way, if uh, whoever's renting this apartment is watching the video. And yeah, bedroom there. Uh, yeah, definitely being rented with shoes under the bed there. Uh, really nice. You know, you go through these photos to see, you know, are you going to be interested in owning a share of this property? And really, you know, is the area good? Obviously, that's a yes. It's Dubai Marina. Um, if you've not been to Dubai Marina, then, you know, it's an amazing place. So, uh, yeah, you, you really it's just doing this research to see, OK, is it worthwhile investing in this property? What's the chances of the value going up? in the long term. But now any new viewers of the channel know what stake is. Let's go ahead and look at the figures for the S&P versus stake then. So in 2022, you're not going to believe this. Well, some of you might that were invested in the S&P 500, but the S&P 500, as I have it written here on my sheet, actually uh, lost. So at minus 19.64%. So nearly 20% down in the year of 2022. And that straight away, I think, is a good reason to point out why it's so good to be diversified, not just be like, oh, I'm just going to buy the S&P 500. That's all I need. Um, technically, you know, if you're pound cost averaging or dollar cost averaging and buying a bit every month, that's not a big deal. You would have just been riding that downward trend throughout the year of 2022, buying more at the cheaper price and then made your gain when it came back up uh, in 2023. But the gain that stake made, so average return for stake investors in 2022 was 9.3%. That's plus 9.3%. So a huge difference there. It's like nearly 30% difference, isn't it? When you take that nearly minus 20 and then nearly uh, plus 10%. So stake massively outperformed the S&P 500 in 2022. Now, 2023 is a different story because we have plus 23.79% for the S&P 500. Stake haven't actually updated their site yet for their average user return for 2023. But if you click on this video next to me, you can see a property return that I made from seven months invested in 2023. And you'll be shocked at the results there. And I definitely managed to outperform the S&P 500 with that one.